The unique cultures of minorities and indigenous peoples are under threat, according to Minority Rights Group International's annual report, out today. The 2016 edition of our State of the World's Minorities and Indigenous Peoples highlights the devastating impact of war, displacement, assimilation and other forms of discrimination on language, art, dance, music, traditional knowledge and spirituality. Conflict and political turmoil have caused the destruction of significant minority and indigenous sites, such as churches, mosques and shrines, belonging to religious and ethnic minorities across the Middle East and North Africa. Many of the communities we support continue to suffer cultural loss as a result of state-sponsored assimilationist policies. In Asia, for example, some governments attempt to forge a national homogenous identity forcing minorities and indigenous peoples to suppress their traditions and customs. Indigenous art is widely misappropriated and traditional knowledge is ignored or used without consent. The misuse of symbols in North America, such as in Halloween costumes or at music festivals, is contentious and arguably perpetuates a long history of discrimination against indigenous communities. In Europe, there has been a rise in hate speech and hate crime against minority communities. Many people are targeted solely on the basis of aspects of their dress, such as a Muslim hijab or the Jewish kippah. Indigenous peoples place huge importance on sacred spaces and ancestral lands. Both are integral to their culture and heritage. However, they're under threat from land grabbing and dispossession, often as a result of natural resource extraction or tourism. In Africa, for example, loss of land has disrupted many indigenous communities' lives and traditional practices. Aside from the onslaught on minority and indigenous culture documented in the report, we also show how many activists are turning the tables and using art and culture to inspire change. For instance, MRG has been working with grassroots organisations to use drama and other art forms to challenge negative attitudes and resist oppression. Culture is intimately linked to any community's way of life, but, as our report shows, Respect for minority and indigenous cultures is vital to the very survival and well-being of these often vulnerable communities. Ensuring that their cultural freedoms are protected is central to guaranteeing all of their rights. <laughs>